All right, so the leaks for September have been true as of so far. The PlayStation Pro little announcement stream came true, and now the state of play came true date for date. This has honestly got to be one of the biggest events for PlayStation as far as I could remember. There is a ton of pressure on Sony right now. They're kind of catching L after L recently with Concord and the huge price for PlayStation Pro and just not really having any games to showcase the ginormous price of the PlayStation Pro. There's so many rumors that have been surrounded PlayStation for so long. I mean, Sony Santa Monica Studio is apparently working on several projects, including one that may not even be God of War. So it might be Sony Santa Monica's first new IP besides God of War. And then you have Resident Evil 9 is like rumored to be at State of Play, which is a big i don't see that happening honestly at all and then you have ghost of tsushima 2 of course and then naughty dog has been teasing a game for a long time now so i don't even know what's going on with them and then of course you can't forget wolverine the spider-man 2 dlc there's so much stuff that has been circulating i feel like this event for playstation needs to be the one where they just show everything they have because astrobot cannot carry all the weight for 2024 and i guess you could say wukong too since it was kind of a playstation slash pc exclusive but either way wukong and astrobot are not enough especially with the playstation pro reveal if they want people to buy that they need to announce some games as you could probably imagine people are trolling sony about concord and everything which is honestly low-key a little bit i want to say kind of justified concord was a joke and then you have the God of War fans popping out. Once attached, the chains remained so, chained and seared to the flesh, a part of the bearer's body. A permanent you got the Ghost of Tsushima 2 fans popping out. I mean, bro. And then, you know, you got the remaster, the remaster trolls too. This is bait. There's no way that, because I don't know. I, I can't, I can only speak for myself. I do not know a single soul that wants these two games remastered. Two pretty good games. To be fair, I've never played Days Gone. But I know they're two good games, especially Horizon Zero Dawn. I do not want that remaster, bro. There's just literally no point. At least remaster Bloodborne at that point. But my expectations are at a pretty good minimum. You can't forget we also have the Tokyo Game Show. So they're probably going to have some announcements there. But I think this event is majorly more important than the Tokyo Game Show. They need to showcase everything they have. If Sony Santa Monica has something, they need to show it. If Ghost of Tsushima 2 is like trailers are ready and all that stuff, they need to show it. If Naughty Dog has something, they need to show it. They need to put everything into this live stream. But I don't know. I, I really do not know what to expect. I think people's expectations are very, very high, which is extremely reasonable in my opinion. The one thing that I could kind of expect coming out of Sony Santa Monica Studios, though, is a God of War trilogy, like remaster or even like even a remake or something. I could honestly kind of see that. I think it's a little too soon for the God of War teasers. It usually takes about two, two and a half years, and it hasn't quite been two years since Ragnarok yet. But God of War Ragnarok was supposed to come come out in 2021, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know. It's very possible. But anyway, bro, that's all I really got, man. I'm out of here. We can only hope for the best, bro. Peace.